Reading Pioneers is proud to present Dragon's Halloween by Dave Pilkey. Chapter 1 Six Small Pumpkins It was October, and all the world was orange and brown. Dragon walked through the autumn leaves in search of a giant pumpkin. I will find a pumpkin as big as a house, said Dragon. Oh, what a scary jack-o'-lantern it will make. But when Dragon got to the pumpkin patch, all of the big pumpkins were already gone. Only six small pumpkins were left, and they were much too small to be scary. Dragon loaded the six small pumpkins into his cart and brought them home anyway. Later, as Dragon sat carving his small pumpkins, a fox and a crocodile came by. What are you doing? asked the fox. I'm making scary jack-o'-lanterns, said Dragon. Those pumpkins are too small to be scary, said the fox. Just wait, said Dragon. Dragon took one of the pumpkins and poked branches into its sides. That pumpkin looks stupid, said the crocodile. No one will be afraid of your silly jack-o'-lantern. Just wait, said Dragon. Dragon put candles into the pumpkins, and they all lit up bright and orange. <laughs> laughed the fox and the crocodile. We've never seen such funny jack-o'-lanterns in all our lives. Just wait, said Dragon. Finally, Dragon stacked the pumpkins on top of one another until they were very tall. The fox and the crocodile stopped laughing. Their eyes became wide. They began to tremble and shake. Uh, uh, cried the crocodile. Oh, oh, wailed the fox. The fox and the crocodile ran off through the woods, screaming in terror. What's the matter with them? said Dragon. Dragon scratched his big head and looked up at the jack-o'-lanterns. Ah! Eh! Ah! screamed Dragon. Dragon ran into his house and hid under the bed. I did not know that six small pumpkins could be so scary, said Dragon. Chapter 2 The Costume Party It was Halloween night, and Dragon was very excited. He had been invited to a Halloween costume party. Dragon tried to think of a scary costume to wear. Dragon could not decide whether to be a witch, a vampire, or a mummy. He thought and thought, and scratched his big head. One costume would be very scary, said Dragon, but three costumes would be very, very, very scary. So Dragon decided to wear all three costumes at the same time. First, Dragon put on a witch's hat and nose. I feel scary already 
said Dragon. Next, Dragon put on a vampire's cape and teeth. Dragon could not talk very well with vampire teeth in his mouth. Frum, 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 said Dragon. Finally, Dragon wrapped himself up just like a mummy. Dragon hoped his costume would not be too scary. Dragon walked through the woods to the big costume party. Suddenly, the wind began to blow. Flash! went the lightning. Boom! went the thunder. And down came the rain. When Dragon finally got to the party, he was soaking wet. And his costume was ruined. All of the animals began to laugh. Look at Dragon, they cried. Oh, what a silly costume. The animals laughed and laughed, and Dragon felt miserable. He walked over to a bench in the corner and sat down next to a big pumpkin. Suddenly, the bench broke and the pumpkin flipped high into the air. Dragon was very dizzy. He stumbled around the room, covered with slimy orange pumpkin goop. When the animals saw Dragon, they screamed in terror. Eek! It's a monster! cried the duck, who jumped into the pig's arms. Oh dear! Oh dear! cried the pig, who jumped into the hippo's arms. Help! 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 cried the hippo, who jumped into the hamster's arms. Finally, Dragon pulled the pumpkin off his head. I am not a monster, said Dragon. I am only Dragon. The animals were very relieved, and soon everyone felt much better. Well, almost everyone. Chapter 3 The Deep Dark Woods The moon was full, the sky was dark, and the stomach was empty. Dragon was very hungry. He walked home through the spooky forest, thinking of good things to eat. Softly, the wind began to blow. Woo! 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 That was a scary sound. The wet leaves beneath Dragon's feet went squish, 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 squish. That was a scarier sound. When Dragon got further into the forest, he heard the scariest sound of all. Grrr, grrr. Growl! For a moment, everything was silent. Then suddenly, grrr, grrr, growl! What could that awful noise be? cried Dragon. Grrr, grrr, growl! The growling got louder and louder. Grr, grr, growl! Finally, Dragon jumped in the air. Help me! He screamed. It's a monster! Ha! 
High up in the treetops, a light flicked on. What's going on down there? shouted a sleepy-eyed squirrel. I heard a monster growling, cried Dragon. That's no monster, yelled the squirrel. That's your stomach. Now go home and get something to eat before you wake up the whole forest, cried the angry squirrel. Dragon held his stomach. It rumbled and growled. He felt very silly. All at once, the forest was dark again. But now, Dragon was too hungry to be afraid. He ran and ran all the way home. When Dragon got home, he cooked up a giant Halloween feast. He made pumpkin pies, pumpkin soup, pumpkin bread, pumpkin pizzas, and pumpkin ice cream sundaes. Then, Dragon ate and ate and ate. Until he was as round as a pumpkin. Thank you everyone for reading along with us to the story of Dragon's Halloween. Do you have any interesting stories about your Halloweens? Comment below and share your stories with us. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to also subscribe to keep up to date with all future videos being uploaded by Reading Pioneers. Also, don't forget to click the thumbs up button to show your support. It really helps out the channel. Until the next upload, here are a couple of other spooky stories that you may enjoy reading as well. That's all the time we have for today. So until next time, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.